when John the Baptist baptized Jesus in the waters of the Jordan, the Holy Spirit proclaimed to all who were present there that Jesus was the promised Savior. Water became the symbol of cleansing and anointing. From that day forwards, Jesus began his mission of spreading the good news of the kingdom. Let us, during this Eucharistic celebration, pray, that the, pray to the Holy Spirit for the courage to work for justice, to lead lives of righteousness, and to carry forward the mission that Christ began on earth. The day I was baptized The spotless robe of Christ was mine The day I was baptized And at His feet I took the place Of those who His call had despised the spotless robe of Christ was mine The day I was baptized The spotless robe of Christ was mine The day I was baptized The spotless robe of Christ was mine the day I was baptized. This Mass is offered for the Month's Mind Mass, Soul of Bridget El Lobo. Thanksgiving Mass in honor of Our Lady and Valently, Our Lady of Perpetual Circle, for good health, and Arnold Anthony. Thanksgiving Mass, Wedding Anniversary, Sabi and Melba de Costa. First Wedding Anniversary, Oscar and Mariana. Let us begin this Eucharist in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we examine ourselves, very specially as we reflect a baptism of Jesus Christ. Christ being God, He Himself ask for baptism let us moment of silence for this humbleness and let us ask the gift of humbleness in our life brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred Mystery, we all say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, you ask, blessed very a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Oh, 
receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who when Christ had been baptized in river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him, You are beloved Son. Grant that your children, by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord. Come everyone who thirst, come to the waters. And he who has no money, come and buy, buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for, what? for that which is not bread and you labor for what, that what, which does not satisfy? Listen diligently to me and eat what is good, and delight yourself in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me, hear that your soul may live, and I will make you, I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. Behold, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. Behold, you shall call a nation that you do not know, and a nation that did not know you shall run to you. Because of the Lord your God and of the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, that he may have compassion on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, make it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall be accomplished that which I purpose, and shall succeed in the thing of which I send it. The word of the Lord. Be Our response shall be, with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Can you repeat? With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and I will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, 
and he has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Our response, with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Our response, with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be made known in all the earth. Shout and sing for joy, O inhabitant of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Our response, with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. And everyone who loves the Father loves whoever has been born of Him. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey His commandments. For this is the love of God that will keep His commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is that overcomes the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by the water only, but by the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one who testifies, because the Spirit is the truth. For there are three that testify, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three agree. If we receive the testimony of men, the testimony of God is greater, for this is the testimony of God that he has borne concerning his Son. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Kindly arise. Alleluia, alleluia. John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, John preached, saying, After me comes he who is mightier than I, the strap of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized you with water but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan River. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens being turned open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And the voice came from heaven, You are my beloved son. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, there is a story told about two pastors and one priest. How the cats were disturbing the services in the church and how to get rid of this cat. Pastor one said, I just caught them and put in the bag and I throw them in the river. 
But for my surprise, after three days, they came, and not only them, but more came. Second pastor uh, said, I trapped them, and I took them in jungle and released them, because I don't want it to harm. But after a few days, they came back again. Catholic priest had an amazing idea. He said, I just baptized them, and since then, they are not in the church. My dear brothers and sisters, it is a sad reality in our life that most of us, we are baptized, but we do not come to attend or participate in the Eucharist every day or every Sunday. One of the, uh, one of the mass where parish priests were celebrating and it was jam-packed and it was Christmas mass and the parish priest says, Happy Christmas to all of you. And afterwards he said, Happy Easter. And people are wondering why a happy Easter. And then he explained, because now I see most of your new faces. And now after Christmas you will come after, uh, for the Easter. So I am wishing you now only. My dear brothers and sisters, somehow we do not uh, take baptism uh, or, or we have taken baptism for granted. We have forgotten that why we are baptized and today's feast where Jesus Christ himself get baptized. So why he got baptized today? To show solidarity with us, that he is one with us. To understand why he got baptized with John the Baptist, we have to go back. John the Baptist was baptizing in the river Jordan and people were coming in big number getting baptized. And then he was, these people are turning towards God. So he was the mediator, people towards God. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus absolutely was not in need of baptism. He was God himself. He could have said to John the Baptist, stop, let the people come to me. Or he would have said that I will baptize them, I will take them, you go away. But no, he humbled himself. He wanted uh, to baptize in that same river where the people were coming. Not because he was a sinner, not because he needed repentance, but he wanted to be one with people. My dear brothers and sisters, two important things happened in Jesus' baptism. Where the heaven were open and the voice from above, This is my beloved Son. And second, they were empowered, Jesus was empowered and all those who are there to do good. And what is the good thing? In Isaiah we hear that he has come to set the captive free. That he has come to die for us. And that is the two things revealed on that day. The most important food we eat is rice. And without rice, we cannot live. So without food, we cannot live. Food is important. In our life, baptism is very important. Without baptism, you cannot receive other sacraments. And we need, baptism is a gateway to other sacraments. So how important it is that you understand now. Keeping, the, uh, uh, keeping this in mind, word rice, let us elaborate baptism. How important it is. R stand for rebirth. We are in the baptism, we are reborn and we become new creation. We are washed from the original sin and we become, we are gifted in the new life and we are asked to walk towards Him. Second alphabet in the rice is I, initiation. We initiate, we become sons and daughters, we become members of his family. He is our father and we are his children. Next alphabet, we have E, empowerment. Empowerment is to do good and to say no to evil. We have asked to become like Christ to go out and represent Christ in others' life. And last alphabet 
is I think before E, if we have C, consecration. In consecration, we are commit and we become, we have asked to become the kingdom of God. We have asked to bring kingdom of God here on earth. And that is where we are born to do. So in rice, we have rebirth. We have self, a second alpha, alphabet, initiation. Then we have consecration. And then we have empowerment. We have asked to become one with Christ. Many of you will remember your wedding anniversary. All of you remember your birthdays. But how many of you remember when you were baptized? The date, month and year. We don't remember because we do not celebrate that day. In fact, this is the most important day. Why? Because Jesus himself got baptized. So important day. And we need to celebrate on that day. We need to come to Mass because because of baptism we are here. Because of baptism we are accepted and we are now adopted children. We are adopted sons and daughters and we have a father who is looking after us. But we have forgotten this day. We do not even know what is my work after baptism. It's very important to keep in mind these uh, two things. The consecration and empowerment is two things to say no to evil and to say yes to God. And second task is to represent Christ in others' life. Let us moment of silence ask yourself, what is my role? Being baptized, do I follow Christ fully? Let us pause and examine ourselves. Let us now arise and profess our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, the only Son of Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born to the Virgin Mary, suffered and pointed Pilot, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sit at the right hand, hand of the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sin, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of body, life everlasting. Amen. Almighty Father, you sent forth your Holy Spirit to reveal the world to the world that Jesus was your beloved Son. It is with this belief that we beseech you to look with mercy upon a humble petition. Our response shall be, Heavenly Father, grant us the gift of the Holy Spirit. Together, Heavenly Father, grant us the gifts of the Holy Spirit. That Pope Francis, the bishops, priests and religious may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to be powerful messengers of evangelization. For this we pray. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, grant us, us the, the gifts, gifts of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. That people everywhere may be guided by the Holy Spirit to treat everyone with righteousness and justice. For this we pray. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, grant us, us the, the gifts of, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. That having suffered the ravages of terrible illness and disease in the year gone by, we may find relief, comfort, and medical aid in the months ahead. For this we pray. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, grant Christ us the gifts Christ of the Holy Spirit. We pause for a moment and pray for our personal needs and those of the community. For this we pray. Heavenly Father, grant us the gifts of the Holy Spirit. 
Almighty Father, we are people of the water of the Holy Spirit. In your great mercy, we beseech you to grant our petition. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice in hand for the praise and glory of your name, for our good and for good of the Holy Church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor and revealing of your beloved Son, so that in obligation of your, your faithful day, your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in your compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and every way to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the water of the Jordan you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us, and by spirit descending, descending in the likeness of dove, we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with oil of gladness and sent to bring good news to the poor. And so, with the power of heaven, we worship together before you and majesty without end. We all acclaim. Indeed, Holy O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. 
all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin do this in memory of me the mystery of faith save a savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray the parting of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope cardinal laws will gracious our bishop and all his auxiliaries and all the clergy we pause and pray for intention remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us o lord we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph his spouse blessed apostles and all the saints we are pleased with throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise you and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the service command and found by divine teaching we all day to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of a savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory is now and forever lord jesus christ who said to the apostle peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you all always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those who call to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed
we now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'll be seated. Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. Notices for the week. Wishing everyone happy feast. Our Tamil-speaking parishioners will be celebrating Pongal on Thursday, 14 January 2021 with Tamil Mass at 9.30 a.m. The following Mass schedule zone-wise on 17 January. Cluster 1, Zones 12, 13, 14 and 15, Saturday, 6.30 p.m. Cluster 2, Zones 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20, Sunday, 8 a.m. Cluster 3, Zones 1, 2, 3 and 21, Sunday, 9.30 a.m. Cluster 4, Zones 4, 5, 6 and 7, Sunday, 11 a.m. Cluster 5, Zones 8, 9, 10 and 11, Sunday, 6 p.m. Next Sunday, 17 January 2021, is Vocation Sunday. The Sacrament of Confirmation will be administered on Sunday, 17 January 2021, in our parish at 4 p.m. Kindly note, this Mass will be only for confirmation candidates. 18th to 25th January 2021, Christians all over the world Observe a week of prayer for Christian unity. Thursday, 21st January is a feast of St. Sebastian. Please note from January 2021, Masses at Mother of Victory Church, DMART, have started every Wednesday and Saturday at 5 p.m. Those registered families who have not collected the Christmas kit kindly collect from the church office by 31st January during office hours. From February, it will be kept for sale at the bookstall at cost price. Kindly refer the notice board for nursery admissions in our school for Little Angels 2021 and 2022. New Year collection was Rs. 20,490. Last Sunday's mass collection was Rs. 18,697. Amount collected will be sent to Archbishop House, being a first Sunday. Thank you for your generosity. End of the notices. Thank you. Can you rise for final blessing? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.